Hi guys, this is lesson number 41 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create this beautiful stylish photo collage in Coral Draw. As you can see on my screen, we have four picture here. This type of effect you can see in the brochure, in the flyer or in any design layout. It's very easy. In Coral Draw, this type of effect you can create in multiple ways. Using shape tool, you can crop the image according to your required area. Also, you can create a specific shape and then clip the image inside. Here in this lesson, I will explain three different methods to create this beautiful photo collage. So let's get started. As you can see, if I will click on this photo collage, if I will click, here it shows that it is power clipped. Actually, none of the image is power clipped. Only the line stroke you can see over the images. This is clipped in the square. So if I will move, you will understand. And this square is without outline. If I will right click here, you can see there is an outline around and this white stroke, it is clipped inside. And under this, we have here four images. You can see if I will click from the top left, the first image and move it, you can see that the image, it is cropped this way the second one and uh, from the lower right corner so this how we have four images undo control Z so let's get started I'm going to move these all element to the side zoom tool zoom to page height and you can see that in my page I have a simple rectangular shape and it is filled with the color we can start with the square we will use rectangle tool click on rectangle tool press control key so you can draw perfect square okay so this how we have a shape in our document now we can use any of the path creation tool from here you can use a freehand tool or maybe Bezier or pen tool I am going to take pen tool click on pen tool and draw a path the way you want to shape the images so I will start from here double click to close the path and you can see that here we have a simple zigzag now we can use shape tool if we want to modify okay this how we have two element square and this path so now the first thing uh, you need to make it sure that the snap control is active you need to go to the view snap to and here you can see that guidelines and object you can check both okay so now we are going to import the images file import and I have some images here press control key to select the other and uh, this way you can import multiple images hold down control key and then click on the next so I selected four images import okay so here we have uh, four pictures I can start from this you can position your image wherever you want you can see that once you will bring the image here it shows still the path under this gray box this gray box is the image area so wherever you want you can place it and even if you want you can bring the square and this path in the front we can select it press shift key go to object order to front of the page so you can see now our square and this path is in front of the image so now we can select the image it is quite hard to select the image inside our square area because this square box and the path is in the front so from outside here I can select it if you want to select inside here it will select the square box first in this case you can press alt key and click again so Coral Draw will select the next object in the state so this way also you can access the image now we are going to position the image the way you want I think we need to bring it a little bit up 
see that this triangular area this will be our image area okay so this way the image it will be placed click on shape tool simply hold it from the corner and snap it to the square now our guideline and object snap is active so it's easy to snap the points now this point uh, we don't need here so we can double click and this how our image has been placed the second image we have here click on pick tool and bring it here position your image the way you want okay so this is the area you can see that it will be shown from the image I am happy with the setting with the position we have now so we'll click on shape tool and simply snap the points okay so you can see that here we have this space for this we need to create another point on this segment so just bring the mouse to this segment once it's converted to the curve with the mouse you can see that small curve line is there then double click and you will be having another point now move this point directly here click on pick tool pick the third image that we have here I think uh, we can mirror it to this side select the image resize it okay so you can see that we need to bring this uh, bird in the area we want to show the image so we can just use arrow key to bring it down to reposition our image this way and you can see that I think it is okay now go to the shape tool okay and once again in this segment we need to create another point so double click and we have three images same process we are going to take the fourth image bring it here and I think we need to reduce the size a little bit so we can see some of the area from this beach image okay that is fine we can stretch a little bit to cover the side so this is how it will appear we will use shape tool and since we have three corner we can double click to delete this corner all right you can see that this how easy it is we can go to the pick tool and you can see our image is positioned now we are going to uh, select this path and we will add the hairline hairline size here we have let's say four or maybe six okay so that is enough now it's uh, up to you your desired color you can give I am going to add white color select it right click here and we have color you can see that from this part the exceeded area from the image so for this thing we have square box around we are going to clip this path inside that square box so while it is selected we will go to the object power clip place inside frame since the square is in the front so it will be clip inside that square so click it you can see that we got this beautiful effect here so right click here because there is a outline around this so we can right click on this button here so this is how we apply this beautiful style to our images the second method now we are going to learn same way I am going to create one square by pressing control key so you can draw a perfect square outline okay so same way I am going to use the pen tool once again I am creating the path this way only you can create your desired path the way you want now it is there I will use the shape tool 
okay so the same result we can achieve by using smart fill you can see that here we have interactive fill and under this we have smart fill before we go to the smart fill we need to add the thickness to this path so while it is selected I can go to the here line and choose here my desired size let's say it is a 4 or maybe we can make it same 6 okay but if you will use now the smart fill to get the shape it will not maintain the thickness because this is just a simple path and smart fill it is not reading the appearance of the thickness meaning to say there will be no more gap so for this thing what we can do we can convert this path into shape now this is a path right if I will right click here I will be able to fill the color in this line so once I will convert this into shape itself it will become shape and if we want to fill color with right click we will be able to fill color and coral draw will create its own stroke also so let's see how it's done now we have a path here if I want to convert this path into shape I can go to the object and you can see that convert outline to object right now it is outline if I will click on this here control shift Q is the shortcut key click it and now you can see that observe here coral draw edit points here and using shape tool we can modify this this way now this path it's become a shape before our path it was in the middle of this object now it goes to the side if I will click on move tool and right click on any color you can see that we have here red outline if I will increase the size you will see the red outline so itself the path become one object I don't need outline right click here and if we want to change the color we will left click this time because this is a shape since it is a shape and we will use smart fill we will be able to maintain the gap in between here we have smart fill click in the area you want and here is the color you can see that if I want I can change the color but right now I think it's okay I can click here second object this is my third object and this is the fourth one okay so using smart fill we created four object and now here we have our front object that was path and now it is a shape if we want we don't need to power clip this we can just get the intersected part we can create one square here click on rectangle tool simply draw a square okay I remove the color from this square and that square is selected the new one we created go to the pick tool press shift key and select this object now from that rectangle and this object we need intersection so intersect click on intersect so we got intersected part here click outside and move this object this what we can delete so this how we achieve this result now you can clip these four images inside the one we have here we can import the images and we have uh, different shapes but right now the selected object it is square that we created to intersect so we can move this square we don't need any more we can delete and now if I will click here I will be able to access the individual shapes look at this four shapes we have in these four shapes we can now clip the image you can import the image file import I'm not going to repeat the whole process but I will just take one image it is simple I can go to the object power clip place inside frame and simply click here so the image goes inside now if you want to uh, reposition you can click on edit power clip and click and wherever you want you can place even you can resize and once it's done you can click on finish so you can see that this how we clip the image and it is the same process for other three another thing here we have a outline black outline right you can select all of them and right click here so there is no outline but after all you will achieve the same result so let's go to the third method once again I am going to create square press control key right click to give outline use pen tool and once again I am going to add similar path okay so that's fine 
this time I am going to fill some color in this uh, square so you can see here same way we can select our path and apply here line 6 ok go to object and convert outline to object alright we can fill any color now left click say we have yellow or maybe orange color so this how we have two shapes click outside select the square and then press shift key and select this object and click on intersect so we got intersected part we can delete this and now we have here square and then intersected part in the front if I will move you can see that this is what we have now this intersected part we are going to trim with this square so make sure that the orange object this intersected part you selected first okay now the orange object is selected press shift key and click on this square and simply click on trim so you can see that this how we achieve this result and uh, now our square it's trimmed if I will move you can see that we have four object but uh, they are combined so if I want to clip four different image inside the way we have here we need to click on object break curve part once you will click on break curve part the shortcut key is control K now individually you can select one by one look at this and here we have an orange object in the middle if I want I can make it white and if I want I can import again image and clip inside so let's try file import this time I'm going to take this image okay so here we have so while the image is selected click on object power clip place inside frame and simply click here so you can see that the image goes inside and here we have edit edit power clip click it and reposition all right then finish and you can see that the image goes inside and we achieve the same result and here if we want we can remove once again outline right click here select all of them and right click so this is how we achieve this beautiful result we make this stylish college with a different method here in the first we use simply shape tool and we crop each image according to the area we want in the second method we use smart fill tool and in the third method we simply intersect both object we created square then we created a path we give the thickness to the path then we convert it to object once the path was converted to object we intersect and after that since the intersected object was combined object we select it and we go to the object and then we break apart okay so this is how we got the individual four shapes then we clip the image inside so that's all guys i hope you enjoy this lesson try to create this beautiful stylish college with these three methods guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you